Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Wow, those is actually some really good tones on my face. Look at that. I like the green. This background's really nice. So yesterday's stream ended abruptly, and it was with a ring zero. I guess Arch has finally caught up with Cache OS and is out of the question for my system for some reason. So after that stream, before I went to bed, I did some testing. Pulled out the NVIDIA GPU, pulled out 32 gigs of RAM, and I left my system stock for a while. Ring zero happened again. So um, I removed the A and B GPU, put in just the NVIDIA GPU, put back all 64 gigs of RAM, no ring zero. The main factor seems to be the graphics card. There's something up with it. I don't know what it is, and it should not be happening. I even decided to um, look for an updated version of a VBIOS. Could not find one. It's, uh, it's disappointing and unfortunate. This only happens on Arch Linux. And uh, that's the annoying part. So on Cache OS, it happened with the Cache OS kernel. Okay, that's the thing that would constantly make it happen. I always managed to make it happen. The Linux kernel, the Arch Linux kernel didn't make it happen. It was perfect. It was fine. And then something changed. Some update, I guess, changed it. Fedora doesn't happen. Pico OS, it doesn't happen. Uh, Serpent OS, I'm not going to call it by its new name because that name's an embarrassing decision. Because Serpent is way cooler. I mean, come on, Slytherin. It doesn't happen. Nix OS, it doesn't happen. So... This is primarily a, a, an Arch Linux problem. And I don't even know where to begin to look anymore because I am completely and utterly lost. Doesn't matter if it's a stable kernel and a, like 6.14. It doesn't happen. 6.15 and upwards, it happens. So you know where to start, but do you know how many updates and pull requests and everything have been done since then? It's ridiculous the amount of work that Linux developers put in. I don't even think they they get even remotely the amount of credit they should. So, um, I'm on Pico OS at the moment. By the way, it's Matt at Matt's Creative. That's what I decided to name it. I don't like this color. Uh, let's do this one instead. Thank you. And uh, I was playing RuneScape for a while. Right, because I can make this happen in certain scenarios in RuneScape. And it didn't happen on Pico S. It doesn't happen on Fedora. It seems to always come back to the same thing. So I originally was going to combine my one terabyte uh, Gen 4 NVMe, my current two terabyte Gen 4 NVMe to make a single drive of three terabytes, right? That was the plan did not pan out because I got it installed. I got it all set up, but it would not show the boot drive. So I gave up on that. <sighs> yeah. It is what it is. You know, so I just installed normally on the two terabyte. I don't think I've ever really given Pico OS a true 100% shot. So I guess now it's time. It's time for it to shine. And so there's going to be lots of questions when someone sees the title. There's people that just don't watch the video at all. And they're just like, uh, this doesn't happen to me. It works on my machine. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, you are so freaking dumb. And I hate using the word dumb because it brings people down and it makes them think they can't do something. But when you say something so effortlessly stupid, you're just, I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, how, how did you ever learn how to turn on a computer if you don't understand that different hardware configurations and sets lead to different problems and enigmas? It's like, okay, this certain, you know, set of hardware causes a bug. This certain set of hardware doesn't have that bug. We can't ship this certain set of hardware because it would cost a lot. So we have to find out how to fix this bug in this system so that it doesn't affect either. And the average Joe doesn't get it. This isn't one of those Borderland 4 situations where they just poorly optimize the game. Yeah, no, this is uh, this is one of those things where a bug sneaks in and uh, there's like a lot of people that have it. 
on the mess of you know github it's been not github GitLab. it's been reported and reported and reported there's there's a lot of people that have it but they they're blaming mess they don't realize that it's a kernel issue and mesa and kernel they tend to go together but no matter which version of mesa i downgrade to or i upgrade to the same issue always happens so it's not on the mesa's end that this happens it's on the kernel side i'm a little bit lost here so i'm sticking with pico os for a while uh my tablet drawing tablet works right out of the box so that's great Everything is set up as it should, so that's great. I've had no issues whatsoever. That's also great. It's been smoother. It's been faster. It's been a lot more efficient. I get lots more performance on RuneScape and other games uh, than I did before. Not by much, like 1 to 5 more FPS, give or take sometimes. No difference at all. Uh, my system runs a little bit cooler, which is nice, and also runs a little bit harder uh, when it comes to gaming, which is also nice. So, you know... It's, it's an upgrade, I guess. The only thing I'm going to miss is the AUR. But whatever's on the AUR usually has a dev package anyway, an easy way to set things up. So that's not ever going to be an issue. I am highly adapted to all situations, which is nice. I was actually thinking and contemplating myself, do I dare put NixOS back on my system? And then PicoOS was like right below it, staring at me. Got to make a decision. So I made my decision. Here we are. Yeah, why not? Let's sit here for a few months and see what happens. True test of stability. Hmm. Will it survive? Will it lighten up my life? Who knows? Who knows? But I also decided to just stop shaving altogether uh, until like this little thing is over and the, the bug is fixed. So, I don't know. I'm about to get a lot furrier. I'm just bored making such weird decisions. You know, it's kind of nice. I hope to get GNOME 49 on this pretty soon, since GNOME 49 is very stable, and if you're worried about it breaking extensions, I, that's not a thing that happens. Extensions don't break. They get turned off when the GNOME shell number changes. Now, the low IQ it takes to even consider that something breaking. It does it to prevent your system from breaking. Yeah. The, the one thing it's going to get hard to get used to is the fact that you can see my corners. Look at my corners. Look at it. I hate it. You can see them. It doesn't happen on Fedora. So yeah. Also, the Pico OS installer does not see the... um. The RAID 0 drive. The door does. Arch does. Nix OS does. Pico OS doesn't, which is weird. So I had to manually create partitions and assign them and so on and so forth. I did it right. Still didn't work. So yeah. We're on Pico OS until I get utterly bored and do something else. Because that's, I guess, what life is about, right? You got freedom of choice with Linux. Hmm, what an adventure it shall be. Anyway, I'm going to go back to playing RuneScape. Bye, everybody.